Hello, welcome to Lil's Winter World. So you might have noticed there has been a slight gap of videos on my channel recently and that's because I went on holiday. I went on a holiday, a boating holiday, to the Norfolk Broads. If you don't know what it is you can google it but that's a massive thing for me because I'm actually scared of boats, well I was scared of boats, and I got on the boat and I did it and I ended up driving the boat which is incredible. So I had a lovely holiday and when I was on holiday of course I did some reading so I thought I'd wrap up the books that I read. As usual, if you want to get any of these books, they are in the description bar below, so just click on the links and I'll take you to the book repository where you can check them out further and buy them if you want to. So let's get straight into it. So the first book that I picked up on holiday is, it's it's the genre that I always kind of crave when I'm on holiday and it's a chick lit. It is My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. So this book is about a woman called Katie who grew up in the countryside but always dreamed of living the perfect London life. And according to her Instagram page, that's what she has. She has a great job and she has, you know, she goes to these trendy bars and these cool cafes. But actually, fairly early on, we realised that actually it's not such a perfect life at all. Because her Instagram pictures are often of other people's food and drink that she's kind of snuck in. Her job, which is meant to be like the perfect London job, actually she doesn't have the best relationship with her boss. And when it comes to living in London, we all know London. It is, you rent for a ridiculous price an actual shoebox. So she lives in a very small bedroom shared flat, but she doesn't have enough room for a wardrobe. So she has a hammock above her bed and she keeps fobbing her dad and her stepmom off who want to come and visit her uh, because she's embarrassed by the size of her room and she wants to have that perfect London life which her Instagram shows but actually she really doesn't and it kind of all comes crashing down when she gets fired and she has to go back home to the country with her dad and her stepmom. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four out of five stars. I absolutely whizzed through it. I mean it's 400 pages so it's not like short book. I whizzed through it in a couple of days. I really enjoyed it and I thought it was generally really good. I also thought that this book was really relevant for the time because there's been um, a lot of discussion at the moment about uh, Instagram and you know people putting Instagram up to, to show this kind of perfect life but actually we don't really know what's happening on the inside in people's minds and I think that this book is a great reflection of that so I really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend it if you're in the mood for a good old chick flick. Chick flick? Chick lit. <laughs> the next book that I picked up is only Fools and Stories by David Jason, from Del Boy to Granville, Pop Larkin to Frost. So, if you know me well, you know that I am a lover of old English British comedies. Uh, I love porridge, I love uh, open all hours and still open all hours, and I love Only Fools and Horses. I also, as you know, love detective fiction, and I love watching um, detective stories, including Frost. Not too long ago on the TV there was, a, there was some documentaries. There was a documentary which was on David Jason and he was exploring his life. And then there was um, On Gold, The Story of Only Falls. So they, this book is kind of like a mismatch of the two plus a bit more. And if you're a fan of David Jason, his work, then you'll love this. Because this book is written in the way that David talks and I really loved this. I loved learning all the little bits and his friendships and why he gave up certain roles, etc. And if you're a fan of Dave Jason, you will love this. I gave this four out of five stars too. Then I fancied a graphic novel. So I picked up Olympians, Zeus, King of the Gods. This is a children's graphic novel, but the, the thing about children's books is if a children's book is great, it should appeal to adults as well. And I wanted to learn more about the Greek gods and get into Roman gods and Egyptians etc. So I thought I'd start with this. This starts at the beginning, 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 and then talks about uh, Zeus's father and eating his children and then Zeus and yeah I liked it. I gave this three out of five stars because some of the writing I was a bit unsure about. The art style isn't for me but I did enjoy it and what I'm interested in is carrying on with the series because in this series on the back it shows that there is Athena and Hera so I'm hoping there's other Greek goddesses that I can pick up as well which is basically what I'm going to do in the future. 
And then finally, last but certainly not least, I picked up Much Obliged G's by PG Woodhouse. I started this before holiday, finished it just after because I wanted to read the chiclet. This is the penultimate Jason Worcester, which I'm gutted about, but oh, wasn't this brilliant. If you haven't read any Jason Worcester, please pick it up. This one is just as good as all the others. It's four star, it's absolutely hilarious. Please pick up a Jason Worcester. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, if any of these books take your fancy, they're linked in the description bar below. I hope you're doing very well, and I shall see you soon for the next video. Bye for now.